once again Josh your boy Ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers who went off script and won matches they were supposed to lose now these are the very 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 rare occurrences where something happens and the ending of the match change and the person that was supposed to lose end up winning their match and it's it's one of those things where I'm sure they end up getting an earful from Vince McMahon back in Gorilla a uh, gorilla position so we're gonna check out some of these instances where the right opponent wasn't didn't end up winning honestly they they won on accident so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel didn't mean to full screen it but hey let's get right into this bad boy man should be a good one know that the winners and losers in WWE are picked before the matches actually start. However, just because there is a script doesn't mean wrestlers mm -hmm. always follow it. One guy who decided to change the winner of a match was The Undertaker. In the main event of Raw, The Undertaker and King faced The Rock, Mankind, and Ken Shamrock in a 2-on-3 handicap match. The Brothers of Destruction were supposed to win, but that isn't what ended up happening. The Rock and Undertaker were the legal men, and mm -hmm. were told they only had 25 seconds to end the match. Thinking I remember this, yep. I remember, uh... Uh, I believe checking out a video where pretty much the the Rock they didn't have enough time, so the Rock ended up having to uh, hit the finisher, hit his finisher on him, and he ended up pinning the Undertaker. He, he didn't have enough time, and I think at that time the Undertaker hadn't lost yet. On their feet, Undertaker told The Rock he was winning instead. The People's Champion hit The Rock bottom and got the pin on the Phenom. Undertaker didn't get in any trouble for changing the match, but it was a much different story for these next two wrestlers. Wow. Usually, a wrestler will argue backstage because they don't want to lose a match, but not mm -hmm. Scott Hall. While the bad guy was in WCW, he was put in a match against Chris Jericho. Scott thought Jericho should win, but backstage management said no. Despite what they had been told, Scott Hall told Chris Jericho to come up with a finish for their match. Jericho did just that and defeated hall even though he was supposed to lose the oh. reaction backstage was not good but this was a big win for chris jericho and helped him become a major star in wow. WCW and later wwe ironically 21 rest in peace man rest in peace uh, to scott hall the fact that he did the job like that like he he knew they wanted him to win but he's like nah i'm gonna put you over even going against their rules that's awesome i did not know that that's crazy Shout out to him, man. That that he didn't even have to do that. One years later, Jericho would do the same thing, sort of. In 2016, YJK uh, was facing yep. Neville in a match on Raw. Chris Jericho was supposed to win by submission, but that didn't happen. At one point, Neville slid underneath his opponent, but oh. accidentally injured his left foot. Uh. It was clear right away that the high flyer was injured. So rather than continue to wrestle and possibly make the injury worse, mm -hmm. Jericho tried to end the match with a quick roll up. The referee knew this wasn't the planned ending and didn't count the pin, even though Neville's shoulders stayed on the mat. Yeah. Chris Jericho then went completely <laughs> off script and started shoving the referee. You could even hear Jericho breaking character to explain what happened. He's hurt. He's hurt. Uh oh. Oh no no. The that was I, I remember watching this. He's like, bro, he's hurt. Like you can hear him say it. He was like, bro, you fucking idiot. He's hurt. So he had to go off script to purposely get himself disqualified. Ref called for a disqualification, which ended the match and made Neville the winner. Fun fact, Jericho and Neville ended up using the originally planned finish five months later when they fought in a rematch. Uh. Eddie Guerrero's first WWE match ended with him going to the hospital. In his in-ring debut, Latino Heat teamed with Perry Saturn to take on Road Dogg and Billy Gunn. Eddie was supposed to win because the storyline was if he, Saturn, D. Malenko, and Chris Benoit could win two out of their three matches that night, they would be awarded WWE be contracts. Dean Malenko competed first and lost, meaning Eddie and Perry had to win their match to have a chance at earning contracts. Partway through the tag team contest, Guerrero hit Billy Gunn with a frog splash. However, Eddie landed incorrectly and dislocated his elbow. The pain Gee. was so bad oh. that Eddie couldn't get to his feet, so Road Dog went off script and pinned Guerrero to end the match. Wow. I'm surprised no one got in trouble for this. During a match on Raw wow. in 2022, Randy oh, Orton Hey, once again, rest in peace, Eddie. You can see it. It just looked painful. Hey, man, they they had to they had to call an audible, and that's the thing about wrestling that people don't understand. Sometimes you they got us, especially due to injuries. They got to call an audible and and switch it up on the fly. 
Matt Riddle took on Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. I the think I remember this one. Bro to win, but of course that didn't happen. One spot saw Ford hit the apex predator with a frog splash from the top rope. However, Montez's knees landed on Orton's ribs oh, and shoulder. Ford God. knew immediately that Randy was hurt and went for the cover. Randy's team was supposed to win, so he tried to cause a rope break. However, Angelo Dawkins pushed Orton's boot away in order to end the match. It was pretty gutsy of Dawkins to do this, since it may have seemed like he was going off script to get himself in Ford to win. However, oh. it was the right thing to do, and both of the Street Profits didn't get in any trouble. However, oh, okay. they may have gotten in trouble if they had broken the unwritten rules of WWE. To find out what they are... Oh, what? man. That's... I love informative videos like this. It always... Especially, I didn't know about the, uh, the Chris Jericho and Scott Hall situation. Him literally saying, you know what? They don't want you to win. Go ahead and win, kid. That's awesome. I, I love hearing stories like that. It just shows that not everybody is all about themselves and their ego. You know, sometimes people go out their way to help out the new younger talent. And that's what it should always be in wrestling. Because at the end of the day, you can't wrestle forever. You can't be the, the dead man forever. You can't be Stone Cold Steve Austin forever. You can't be Mankind or Triple H forever. At some point, you got to help newer stars, newer talent get over. And some of the best ways is to give them those much needed wins that can elevate them going forward, man. So I, hearing stories like that are always amazing. Once again, rest in peace, Scott Hall. Rest in peace, Eddie, man. Gone too soon. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys know um, well, my majority of these uh, situations of people, you know, winning matches that weren't supposed to win? Were any of these stories surprising to you? For me, the Chris Jericho, Scott Hall storyline story situation that was very surprising did not know that was a thing but i love videos like this you want me to check out some more informative tidbit facts about wrestling uh in the past and wrestling in the day let me know down below i'll definitely check out some more but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ and also you're in the clutch world heavyweight champ appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace